I'm going to show you the needle knot, which some people call the needle nail knot. Uh, the needle knot is a connecting knot to join a fly line to a leader, if you don't have a loop in your fly line. Some people don't like them, some people don't have them, but if you don't have a loop in your leader and you have to attach a leader to your fly line, then a needle knot is probably the neatest and nicest way of doing it. It's a little tricky, so let's have a look at it. First thing you do is you take your leader and you unwrap your leader. Just unwind it like that. If it's got a loop in the leader, you're not going to need the loop in the leader. You can leave it on there for now, we'll chop it off later on, but uh, you're not going to need the loop in the leader. But I'm going to leave it on because I'm just going to show you what this is all about. Then you need a needle. To make the needle knot, you take your fly line and your needle. And the needle wants to be a size that is slightly wider than the diameter of your leader. Uh, you don't want a needle that is thinner than your leader, and you don't want a really fat needle at this stage. You want a needle that is slightly thicker than the butt diameter of your leader. And you're basically going to prod the, the needle into the fly line. And what you'll do is, if you hold the fly line really close, you'll kind of make a stab. You might stab your finger, but you might not. And you find that you're going to go around and stab, and you'll find a soft bit. There's a hard bit there. There's a soft bit. And the soft bit is the core. All right, the core means you can push the needle into the fly line like that. So you just do a little push, and then you put a little bit more, and you push a little bit more, and you push a little bit more. And basically you work with just minute incremental steps. You work your needle through the fly line until you've got something like an eighth of an inch. You don't need much more than that. Something like that. There we go. That's perfect. And that is the needle in there. Now you put your needle down, either the needle down on a hard surface and just pull the fly line down till you burst the needle through. And of course the needle's tapered, the fat ends at the eye end, and you want to utilize that fatter end in the needle. Now in the old days I used to do this, I used to pull the needle out and then take the end of the lead and try to fiddle my way through. And that's a great way of doing it, uh, but it takes a lot of time. So what, what's worked for me over the years of doing this knot, make sure you slide this fly line up to the thicker part of the needle, so you've got a bit of a hole. A uh, bit of diameter there, internal diameter, and you leave it a little bit just to kind of stretch. You then take the thin end of your leader, and I'm going to get the needle and the fly line. And what's going to happen is I'm going to tug this needle out of the fly line, and it's going to leave a hole. And that hole will shrink, so I don't want to dilly dally, I don't want to take any time doing this. And that hole will shrink. But before I do, I just want to make sure I'm going to get the leader in right. If I thread this end of the leader through this hole that way, then my lead is going to be correct because I'm going to have the thin end going away and the thick end back here towards the, to tie the knot in. If I thread my thin end of the leader into the end of the fly line, my lead will be backwards. So I just want to make sure I'm set right, which is that way. Basically, I'm going to take this leader with a tug. I'm going to tug the needle out. And very quickly, whilst there's a right angle there, I'm going to thread the leader through. Get it in there before it shrinks. There we go. Oh, no, we don't. Get in, and you're going to thread it through the fly line like so. Basically, you just want to put the tip it in to that hole, and then you just pull that through until the butt section is all the way up here. Okay, so I'm really I've got this this tunnel of an eighth of an inch of fly line. And this is the point where you want to chop this loop off. You don't need the loop here. I leave it on in case I get a little excited and I pull too hard and the loop comes through and you've got to start over again. So you chop off your loop. Don't need that. And I'm ready to tie the knot. And this is basically the nail knot that most people tie, but with the difference of the setup of getting this line through the center of the fly line. So I'm being a righty. I want my leader on my right and my fly line on my left. I'm going to have about eight inches of tag end here, like so. And I'm going to go to a different needle. This time this needle is quite a bit fatter than that first needle. I'm going to show you those in the, in the camera, as you can kind of see. So this is a fatter one with a large eye here. And I like this bigger needle for the second stage and the smaller needle for the first stage. If you use this big needle on the first stage, you burst the fly line coating. It's just too fat. So get rid of the little needle, lay the big needle, eye of the needle, on top of the exit hole of the fly line, about eight inches here, fold the leader back on itself, and I'm just going to pinch with my left thumb and index finger, I'm going to pinch the point of the needle, the fly line, 
and this doubled over loop that you can see here. I'm just going to pinch all three, three of those things. And now I just wind this around, making four, five or six turns. One, two. I'm going to try and make each turn butt up against the previous turn. Fairly taut, no cross turns, no gaps. Four, that'll do, maybe five. That's a nice setup. I then pinch those five turns in here, take the butt section of the leader, poke it into the eye of the needle, push the needle through, and I'm going to pull it out the other side from, from here, kind of like so. Just give it a bit of a tweak and a pull. Get rid of the needle. And underneath your fingers, if you let go now, all the turns, you've got to spring into a large tangle, so don't. Just pull this end tight, get the slack out of that end. Do the same with this tag end, pull the slack out of this tag end. Just pull the slack out of both ends of your leader. You can then brave a quick peek. That looks grand. I know there's a kink, but see, that disappears. And you this now slide this barrel of turns all the way down the fly line. And basically, you want to pull it down so that the first turn meets this exit hole. So we're just going to slide. Get it down to the exit hole. Once it, that first turn's in place, take the slack out. Take the slack out here. And just with my nails, push all those coils together. Take the slack out. Take the slack out. And then once I'm happy, I'm just going to reef everything down. Pull everything tight. Chop off the tag. A lot of people use the nail knot for this rather than the needle nail. The difference between the nail knot and the needle nail, I'm going to show you here. You can see with this one, the needle, or the needle nail as this is, can be called, the leader comes out the center of the fly line. With a nail knot, the leader comes out of the top end or the bottom end of the line. And so when you're winding this through a rod ring, you can get this tag, can be a stub and get caught in there. This is a much smoother transition through the rod rings because the leader comes out the center of the fly line than on top or underneath the side. So that's the nail knot, and this is the needle knot. Similar operation, just this one comes out through the center, and uh, a good knot, great knot to know. So that is the needle knot. Rio, make the connection.